Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Iman Salim. I am the author and illustrator of the Little Tree series, and that includes uh, the Little Tree uh, Goes for Hajj, the Little Tree and his Ramadan adventures, and I'd like to introduce Lina, the Tree and the Woodcutter. Um, this is a really special book for me. I've always thought that you know, with the tree uh, character, I always wanted to do something that has to do with the environment. And I wanted to talk about the importance of the environment um, in Islam. And uh, I, uh, I also wanted to um, acknowledge, before I go on with this book reading, I wanted to acknowledge that I'm doing this book reading on Treaty 7 land, um, the original home of the Blackfoot Nations people who have been living on this land for centuries. And I also wanted to acknowledge um, how thankful I am, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, Allah has given me this opportunity to be able to author and illustrate um, three books. Um, I want to thank Compass Books for believing in my stories. And I also want to thank them for believing in my tree character. And um, I want to thank my friends and my family for all their support. My children who inspired the books um, by asking me if trees were Muslim too. Um, before I go on to reading, I wanted to introduce a website called Zaytun.com. Uh, Z-A-Y-T-O-U-N. Um, they are a not-for-profit um, uh, uh, organization that helps, uh, that co-funded uh, Trees for Life with Canon Fairtrade to help support Palestinian farmers who have lost olive trees due to the Israeli occupation. Um, if you check out their website, you can help uh, Palestinian farmers purchase uh, olive saplings so that they can continue to grow beautiful olive trees that are native to the land and um, uh, help support a beautiful cause. And um, I really hope that you enjoy my story and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue. So uh, here we go. Lena, the Tree and the Woodcutter by Iman Saddam, translated by Tariq Saddam, my husband, and copy edited by Nahi Dajani and published by Compass Books. Deep in the woods, Lena sat chatting with the old tree. He was a friend of her grandfather. They'd once traveled to Mecca on Hajj together. She watched as the tree's leaves danced in the sun. He was surrounded by his sapling students. The old tree had taught them how to use their roots to grow big and strong. Suddenly, there was a horrible noise in the forest, a grating, a hacking sound that made everyone start. What was that? asked the old tree. Lena stood quickly and eyed the path that led back to the village. They heard the noise again. It was louder and faster. Then as quickly as it started, it stopped. The old tree was tense. The whole forest was eerily quiet. It must be the woodpeckers getting breakfast, Lena suggested. Hmm, what do you think? I don't know. I don't think that's a woodpecker. Smash! The ground shook. The old tree gasped in pain and closed his eyes. Lena turned to the old tree. What's wrong? The old tree opened his eyes. That was no woodpecker. I felt it in my roots. Something horrible has happened to one of my trees. Aww. At that moment, a young man came walking down the path. A large axe hung from his shoulder. He stopped short when Lena scowled at him. Who are you? she snapped. And what have you done to the forest? The young man looked surprised. I'm a woodcutter. I'm new to this village. And I just discovered this wonderful forest full of trees. He smiled and gestured towards the trees with his axe. All at once, the forest erupted with noise. Lena, the birds, the animals, and the trees all protested. The old tree glared down at the young man. Woodcutter! He boomed. Uh oh, someone's in trouble. <laughs> Are you building a home? Lena asked. The young man shook his head. Are you cold and need to build a fire? The young man shook his head again. Then why would you chop down that tree? The old tree asked. The young man shrugged his shoulders and replied in a whisper. I, I wanted to try out my new axe. Mm -mm. Lena rolled her eyes and opened her mouth to yell at him. 
with the old tree placed a limb on her shoulder. She realized the young man didn't mean any harm. I am the old tree that lives in these woods, and I am connected to all living things. These other trees, the dirt, the sun, the animals, and yes, even you. He pointed a twig at the man. The young man, who was surprised to meet a talking tree, felt less fearful. Lena told him, trees are to be treated with respect and not harmed unnecessarily. Allah made people the earth's caretakers, or they should be. Allah has made trees for our, our benefit, but that does not mean that you have the right to abuse your position. What do you mean? Human beings are responsible for protecting living things, including trees. This is an act of faith in Islam. You should be planting trees, not cutting them down. The old tree added, the trees bear fruit and give shelter for many animals. You just kept down a tree that housed a nest and had a winter store of nuts in its trunk. The young man sat down on the ground. He felt guilty. You must protect all natural resources Allah has given us, Lena continued. When you use what you need in a responsible manner, we can all live in harmony in this beautiful forest. The young man lowered his gaze. I, I had no idea. May Allah forgive me. He looked at the old tree. I'm so sorry for what I've done. Can you tell me more about trees? The end. My favorite part is this puppet. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Um, with this book reading and this book launch. Um, thank you again for everybody who was involved. And uh, um, uh, please look into that website, you know, help support Palestinian farmers plant olive trees. And take care. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye bye.